Hi guys, I'm making this video so that I can give you guys a visualization as to what it is I intend to do so that you guys will understand and hopefully I'll get a few less questions or maybe I'll get a bunch of comments that'll tell me what you guys think I'm I'm wrong on or what you think won't work or whatever else. So let's move on. Um, basically the idea is to get the engine from the front to the rear and then drop the passenger down into the frame. So that, that way your center of gravity is low and your engine and your passenger are both on the same plane so that your gravity is down next to the ground, making it harder to flip over. Um, so what's going to happen is that the front engine plate is going to get cut out. And what's going to happen when you move it to the back is I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. And what that does is it takes the carburetor, the air cleaner, it takes the exhaust and everything and it puts it out the back of the machine. Um, this way you can put the passenger sitting flat up against it. Right now I'll post up a picture of my son sitting on it and the tire basically represents where the engine's going to sit. So anyways, at that point, once it's mounted here, there'll be about 12 inches between the transaxle and where it is that the pulley is going to be sitting. Um, from there, I'll end up mounting up what's called a uh, snowblower clutch. If you look up any basic snowblower how-to manual and things like that, they'll explain it. But basically, I'm going to grab the camera, I'm going to bring it over here, and I'll show you how it should work out. Alright, so let's see how many things I can hold without dropping. Okay, so basically I'm going to swap the transaxle pulley, most likely out for just a regular 5 or 6 inch bottom pulley on top of here. And then on the engine itself, I'm going to flip the two pulleys and I'm going to put a regular bottom pulley onto the engine. From there, it'll sit something like this. Now this is a snowblower clutch. And basically, the way a snowblower clutch works is it has a flat piece, a flat area here, and when you pull your clutch in on a snowblower, it pulls in on the belt. Now what I intend to do is I intend to take the snowblower clutch and invert it. What's going to happen is there will be a spring that runs over a high tension spring so that when you hit the brake pedal it'll pull like this away from the belt. Whoops. Pull like this away from the belt. So the tension spring will bring it over when you let off the clutch and when you pop the clutch it'll pull back. Just like that. And basically the brake assembly will work exactly the way that it normally would. And that when the clutch pops the brake goes down. Okay, well the front is a whole different kettle of fish that and the regular chassis. Um, basically the idea is that once the engine assembly is here, I'm going to cut this off. This whole front end I'm going to cut off. All of this is going to get removed and I'm going to build an A-frame assembly for the front. But the reason why this is getting cut off is because I'm going to flip it. And once I flip it over, I'm going to put in some square steel tubing coming down through and weld this down in. The seat will actually sit in this area and it'll sit down into the chassis. I'm going to flare this area out just a little bit to fit in one of the full-size craftsman seats like you saw my son sitting on. And then the front end will be elongated probably about another six inches or so. That way you have room for pedals and then I'll probably put some sort of bush guard on the front. And this I will cut in half and I'll make my A-frame assembly. Haven't quite figured all of that part out yet, but if you haven't seen it on any of the forums that I'm on, I did end up buying some coilover shocks. They're rated around three to four hundred pounds and adjustable, so we'll go from there. If you like the idea of this build, come join me on uh, my main Mudmores Facebook group. Give me ideas or shout out down in the comments down below. I don't care whether you like it, you think I'm an idiot, whatever, post it. I want to know.